We're at the Sheldon Art Galleries and we have five new exhibits that will be up through January the 15th. I feel that there is a great connection with the exhibits and the artists working with raw materials, real basic materials to come across with their messages and they connect in very subtle ways. It makes a great transition going through each exhibit. When you first come into the gallery spaces, you will see Tate Foley's exhibit in shadow, and it's prints that he has done that are modular, um, using kind of raw materials to create frameworks that can change and alternate the ideas and content of the work. Tate plays with words and color and pushes the meaning of the words with the use of the color and pattern. So the use of raw materials that Tate Foley has used moves on into the next gallery spaces with Brett Williams' sound sculptures. There's one piece per room and the work is focused entirely on sound being the object. The rooms are lit very dark. There's just light focused on the piece that's making the sound. So Brett wants you to concentrate on the sound and how the sound carries through the room and into the next and how the pieces interact with one another. After Brett Williams' exhibit, we move into Carly Slade's and once again using kind of raw materials to create an interactive installation. They're ceramic pieces with battery-operated cars that people are able to control and the exhibit's called Rat Race. In the first room into Carly's exhibit is a ceramic sculpture of an old abandoned apartment building. Um, she comes from a working class background and so that's very important to her and it shows with her exploring these houses and seeing people being you know on the porches or you know activities around the house and then where it's just isolated and burned out and it becomes a shell but it still holds the memories of the people that were there. The fourth exhibit is Abby Hepner, and the title of the exhibit is Redacted Landscapes. So Abby has gone through and has photographed aerial views of uh, radioactive sites. So we have those on display as well as her uranotype prints of the waste site plants that house the radioactive waste. And she uses a process called uranotype. So it's using uranium to make the prints. And in her exhibit, we have a Geiger counter with a print in a case, so it's beeping and letting you know that it is radioactive. The last exhibit we have upstairs is Grand Center Arts Academy's visual departments. The work was done virtually for the last year during the pandemic. And it was challenging for the teachers to come up with a program of projects for the students. So they developed packets that they had the students pick up they did uh, virtual demonstrations of each project, and then they also had virtual critiques. So the students were able to interact with one another and give advice how to improve the work, what was good, what can be done better. And they really had a successful year with all the challenges. This round of fall exhibits is very sculptural and interactive, and you take your time to walk around the exhibits and just get a full immersion of what is on display. The artists we have in this round of exhibits are not typically shown in St. Louis, so we're very pleased to have them here. They will be up through January the 15th, and you can find more information on the Sheldon.org.